So I know this is a long tangent in response to a question about optimism or pessimism in this space as a climate scientist. And the reason why I kind of wanted to to have this monologue uh, in, in a more unvarnished uh, capacity is to sort of illustrate the fact that there is no uh, there is no simple answer to that question. And I do personally vacillate back and forth between that pessimism and that optimism. And every other climate scientist I know has articulated something similar. Depends on the minute and the day and the month and the year. And overall, all of us are really concerned. But also notice that none of us are throwing in the towel. None of us are cashing out our, um, our public sector retirement uh, plans and, you know, going and living in a cabin in the woods somewhere. That's not what we're doing. And I think hopefully that that, that itself is maybe a bit of a signal uh, to folks who are really worried and anxious about this, is that we're not giving up. It's not a lost cause. And I think the fact that this looks like, if anything, an even bigger problem than we thought it was 5, 10, 20, 50 years ago, certainly 50 years ago, uh, but even a bigger problem potentially than five or ten years ago, not necessarily because the amount of warming we're expecting is greater than it was five or ten years ago, but because the effects of that warming may, might in fact be worse than we thought uh, five or ten years ago, is that our response isn't to give up and run away, but is instead to sort of embrace the problem, try even harder to tackle it, and to think about really how we can accelerate progress as to what's next. And so I don't want to sugarcoat it, I also don't want to exaggerate the nature of what we're up against either. And I think that's that that sort of nuanced position is a very unpopular one on the internet these days, um, in media, elsewhere. So unfortunately, there's not a lot I can do about that. Uh, but you can, you know, I, 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 hopefully I'm helping people uh, read between the lines a little bit, cut through the noise a little bit and sort of ascertain certainly where I am, and I think that position is relatively shared among other climate scientists as well.